Welcome to another guide to, with me, Mr. Sealy P. So after a glut of a couple of weeks now, is it maybe three weeks? We have some mods um, on console. Um, totally understandable. FS19 is due out in a little over a month, not too long now, um, and they've got a lot of work to be getting on with. But we have had some mods drop today. I'm going to be looking at three of those mods that have come out today. We've got a homemade multi-tool by Not Ready. We've got the Machine Hall, and I think it's by Moek to Gernbauer. And then we've got the Aduranti pack from DD Mod Passion. So we're going to be having a look at those three. Uh, the Aduranti pack, as it says, is a pack. There's a, a selection of different trailers available. Um, what we'll do first is have a whiz round the machine hall. It says machine and hall. It depends whether you look on the mod hub on the Giants website. When you come onto the mod hub here, um, well, actually, what we'll do, we'll look in in store. That's what we generally do first. We'll have a look in store first. Um, so if I go on to placeables and we scroll across, we will get to at some point. The machine and hall or machine hall um, that is actually 10 slots that will take up um, on your slot count and it's 80,000 it's quite expensive um, to be fair there are cheaper um, barns storage spaces shelters um, various different machine shops and things that are available to download and install so it is fairly pricey but it's not a bad mod installs in exactly the same way um, as any placeable does you click on it find where it needs to be placed rotate it however you want and you can place it the good thing about this one is um, which I've already kind of had a quick look obviously because I've installed one you can see it's got a nice large concrete base you sometimes find some of them if you've got a slight hill you get a gap underneath them this one's got a nice bit of concrete around it so if wherever you rotate it round it still seems to maintain contact with the ground which is quite handy um, if we come out of there and we have a look in now the multi-tool by not ready I found it in miscellaneous it's a three-point linkage and it's a combination kind of like a Swiss army knife um, and it's a pallet fork bale spike and like round bale carrier all in one I couldn't find it under um, under front loaders I had a look in wheel loaders and skid steer loaders and I didn't find it in any of those so I had a look in miscellaneous and that's where I came across it so the CSZ pack is all in here um, but it wasn't in here so if I go to miscellaneous and scroll across it is here the lizard homemade multi-tool it's only 710 pounds euros or dollars if I click on it you've got options of main color which you can change to any of those you can have a brand new look or you can have a rusty and worn looking one the price doesn't differ still 710 pounds euros or dollars um, there are some pros and cons actually to all of these um, you know so the last one to look at then in store is the uh, actually what we'll do if I press R1 now it takes me to the manufacturer page rather than searching around all over the place if I go to Adirante or Adirant um, yeah it would be Adirante if it had an accent over the E wouldn't it um, but anyway <coughs> whichever way however you pronounce it if I click on here we've got a few options available you've got the 200A which is the main base of the of the trailer uh, you've got without sides I'll show you what I mean by that when we actually look at it in more detail it has obviously got sides but I think it means like the slotted sides that can be added or removed then you've got four sides three sides you've got a wood transporter and a bale trailer there are actually two bale trailers one is for round and one is for square they're absolutely identical apart from the fact that one will carry one one will carry the other um, now I haven't found that they're um, automatic loaders so the weird thing is it says 36 bales that one says 24 to try that because surely if it's a flatbed bale trailer it doesn't matter what you put on it unless it's an automatic one we'll have to have a look at that i really don't know for definite but as you can see the ones that i've already put out um they they are actually and the slot count is quite high on these they're 23 slots each um that one the round bale one is 24 
Um, so yeah, they're quite heavy on the slot count. So we'll whisk around and have a look at this, the uh, machine shop first. Now it's 80,000, it's expensive. That's one downside to it. It's a fair size, which I quite like. I like the overhang, so you can kind of pull vehicles up in, in, you know, underneath that link to if you want to as well. Um, I like the fact it's very, very detailed. The detailing on the wood panelling is very, very good. You've even got the guttering and drain pipes on here, which some of them you don't find they're added on, they just don't don't bother. Um, you've got this nice, smooth concrete section out the front, and I think there's one round the other side as well. There's another door at the back. Um, and then you've got this rough concrete base, which will allow you for placeable on kind of uneven surfaces, so to speak. Um, two roller doors, well, I say the front, I suppose it is the front because it's got the overhang here and it's got one roller door at the back. Um, and when we come inside, oh, that's in here just for the moment, you've got these kind of storage gaps, I guess, if you want to put crops in or fertilizer or if you just want somewhere like bays to park your vehicles, I guess. The detailing inside is very good as well uh, with the cross struts. The doors are roller doors. Let's open up this one. These are the switches for the roller doors. Press circle. Very nice, very smooth animation. Close that one down. Very nice indeed. It is very spacious. There is plenty of room in here. So I suppose if you put it into the same category as the in-game, the Giants... Um, what was it called? Let's go to placeables. If we go all the way back to the large one. Like I say, there are ones that are cheap. Yeah, the Lizard Large Vehicle Shelter is 94,000. So it's along the same kind of lines as that. That one doesn't have roller doors or anything like that. So, you know, there's a bit more going on with it. But there are definitely cheaper ones in-game. Um, both side doors open. The lights came on then as well because the light switch is right there. So we've got a light switch this side. And I think we've got a light switch this side. We have. So, lights on. It's pretty light, pretty airy. Um, what I do like as well, it's one of those tiny little features that when it's all closed up and the shutters are down, you can only turn the lights on by coming in through the side door and turn them on. There are no light switches on the outside of the building. Which I think is quite cool. It's just another one of those nice little touches. Um, so, like I say, the other smooth concrete base is around this side by this back door here. And that's pretty much it for the machine hall. It's a nice mod. Very well made. Works well. Spacious. Nice lights, nice details. Yeah, it's a good mod. Right, so moving on. I'm going to have a look at these. Or this. This is the multi-tool. Uh, the homemade multi-tool by Not Ready. Um, positives. You first look and think, that is such a brilliant idea. That is fantastic. Very cheap. Brilliant. You can see here you've got on the outside, you've got these rolls of like round steel, I guess it would be, for doing your round bales, for sliding underneath the round bales. You've then got just inside that, you've got your pallet forks. Then just inside that, you've got your bale spikes, which can all be operated independently. And it attaches on a three-point link. Now, it does say in store, this is for transportation of bales and pallets. Which, the downside to this is, that's all it will do. Because you can't lift it. I mean, you can raise and lower it on a three-point link, but that's as high as that will go. So you can't use this really for loading up trailers. You can't use it for tipping into cedars. It literally is a transportation tool. And unfortunately, that's its only downside, I think, because it is cool. What we'll do, we'll jump in here. round and we'll pick one up like so I'll do a stick the other one in the back as well so I'll show you I mean now the other thing as well is on the front it's not as easy to use it on the back I mean it makes no difference to the controls but again you'll see what I mean what I'm going to do is whiz very quickly so we'll go down to one here I've got one on the concrete as well but We'll go down here. Now, as you can imagine, I'm going to put the uh, help window on as well. So the help, help window is now on. If I go L1, 
you can see a couple of controls left and right come up there. Am I on the back one? I am. Um, so if I go left and right, my bail spike will go up and down. This is on my right mushroom stick. So I'll bring that one back up. If I go up and down on my right mushroom stick, the round um, bail kind of prongs, if you want to call them those, for doing, yeah, for doing round bales will go up and down. Bring that to the side, you better sit a bit easier maybe. That one up and down. If I do my right mushroom side to side, see it's difficult to get them not to all go at the same time. That will do the spike, which is really quite cool. Um, if I go R1 and now do my right joystick, if I go up and down, I get my pallet forks, which is brilliant. I think it's very, very cool. Now, if I press L1 and it says lower multi-tool, I can bring that multi-tool down. And on the back, is actually probably a little bit better. If I bring that right the way down, I can get up to a pallet fairly easily. I say fairly easily that is about as good as I'm going to get because I can't get that any lower I can tilt them but I can't get that three point link any lower so I'm a little bit I don't know if it's just me but yeah I just can't I thought about trying to tip it up maybe drive forward and stop quickly but it won't it just doesn't just shoot onto the, the bail uh, the um, pallet fork so yeah I don't know it might just be me yeah it seems a little bit kind of unwieldy from that perspective I drive forward now no I can't get it out here we go um, raise that up another thing being as well that that's a pallet fork or whatever you want to call it um, I can't pick up the big bag with it because I can't raise that pallet spike, spike fork any higher one good thing another good thing that it does have lights on them as well see there very very bright turn them off turn them on they do have lights on them which is rather cool um, but I'll do the same thing on the front if I lower it down turn the lights off it just doesn't quite go low enough that might be to get under a pallet maybe I don't know yeah I mean it take a bit of filling around with it is a very very cool little multi-tool the concept is brilliant um, I think maybe having one of these that would work on a front loader if there was a I know the CSZ adapter will take a three point link to the CSZ tools but you, there's not one that will take a front loader attached to a three point link I don't think unless I've missed one somewhere but anyway that's that that's the multi-tool it is very cool it's a brilliant idea um, just unfortunately I'm yeah I'm struggling to the bail spike will, comes out a little bit higher and that's designed to go into the middle of a bale so it would do so this realistically is just for transportation once you've got whatever it is you want on there press circle l1 and circle it'll raise it up off the deck so you can drive around with it um and that's about it slow that down and let's move on to the adoranti pack by dd mod passion Now, as we have a look in store, there are various options available. We have got the wood... Let's just close the window. We have got the um, wood carrier, log carrier. They're very, very detailed. Look, 23 slots each. They probably should be. My, my usual kind of taste test is you get up close, have a good old look at all the details. Nuts and bolts and stickers and nothing blurs. I love the Durante um, logo there, it's like indented into the metal and it really looks like it is, that's what's brilliant, it, it's very very detailed, very nice, I do like on the back of the well we're there, we've got DD, MOD, PA, SSION, DD Mod Passion, very good, um, it's, they, they are very nice. Now what I like is you've got this basic truck bed or semi bed, whatever you want to call it, trailer bed. And it all is all very standard. And the whole point is where it says three sides, four sides, you've got these slatted sides that clip in to these main bars. These blue bars here. So this one is no different. That's got the same bars 
the slatted sides have just been removed so you've got it open for a uh, for a wood trailer log log trailer this one's four side four sides because you've got one two three four sections that one's got three slatted sections hasn't got the top one in and that one says oh, this one's the bale one that one says no sides because it hasn't got that same slatted design that is different but I love the lettering on the side and I like the fact you've got because it's Adirante you've got the A on the back there and then Duranti down the side so like I say very very nice mods very very cool capacities of them are very large as well I think the smaller one the three slats is 35,000 or is it 40,000 let's, let's have a quick look I don't want to get that wrong um, we've got scroll across the three sided is 40,000 to buy and 35,000 litres which is a fair size actually you've got the four sided slatted sides and that's uh, 45,000 to buy and is a 45,000 litre capacity and then you've got the uh, the one that says without sides is also a 45,000 litre capacity but it's 10,000 cheaper so the question would be other than looks why would you go for the four sided when you could get that one 10 grand cheaper and for a 45,000 litre capacity trailer that's even cheaper than the three sided one which only takes 35,000 litres so yeah I'm not too sure about that it's an interesting one uh, what we will do is have a quick look at the bale trailers because I'm puzzled it doesn't say anywhere they're auto loaders they're only 10,000 to buy which is fairly cheap that one says round and we'll hold 36 that one says square and we'll hold 24 but if they're not auto loaders why do you need separate ones I understand with the auto loader ones because you know the load function is designed specifically for those types of bales unless the strapping's different maybe that could be what it is this one I think I went with it might be the square bale one maybe we need to grab a round bale one it might be the round bale one and the straps go that way instead that's a possibility you know what in the interest of keeping the testing fair let's have a quick look at the round bale option let's select it and we'll lease one just have a quick look at we'll have a look at lights and stuff like that now the only downside to these well I'll say the only downside apart from the slot count which is a little bit high um, is there the swivel front axles uh, I'm never I'm getting better with them but they are my nemesis I do prefer a fixed axle but because it's got a triple axle it's a triple axle trailer it needs to be a swivel axle there um, so let's have a quick whiz over actually and then we'll get back over and we'll check out all the lights and all those kind of things that are available now this is the round bale one no the strap still goes sideways on that's odd I wonder why that is it's not another one that goes this way is there no don't know detailing is incredibly good at the front as well you've got all your hydraulic lines you've got your PTO shaft it's a very they're very tidy mods very very tidy so what I'll do we'll grab the square one we'll take it over I do have some bales we'll test out the theory but what I'll do first of all is um, I'll just jump in here right, lights on like so then we've got us on the tractor again main beam and off again um, what I do like is the indicators put the indicators on you've actually got actually got arrows look at that that's really cool farm dog likes it and then we've got obviously our right indicators or blinkers or turn indicators whatever you call them um, really very nice indeed reverse lights they're a nice size rear axle turns as well gives you a nice turning circle on them I say very very nice indeed tipping function I like this if we look very carefully at the latch on the side when I do this tip latch goes up that goes up before it tips again nice smooth animation 
I like it. I just, I just think it's, I don't know, yeah. I don't know why I'm hung up on the slot count. I know people always criticise me and say, oh, you never get anywhere near your slot count. Why would you care? And to be honest with you, I very rarely do. You're absolutely right. But um, got a very, very high tip on it. Very, very cool. Oh, that one a little bit glitchy there. That was a bit weird. So, we'll just unhook that once that comes down. We'll grab the bale trailer and we'll give it a test. What I will do is put the uh, help window back on. I suppose it's more realistic in that. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me. Okay. Detach. There we go. Well, let me race it. That was weird. Um, what was I going to say? Mine's gone blank. Okay. So, straps we can fasten all on or off from in cab as you normally can with most trailers the fact that we'll hold 24 bales is quite a small trailer I think I've got a stack of 16 over here now there's nothing that says oh yeah operating position ah we have a new auto load trailer that makes sense right so let's put it into its operating position it didn't say anywhere it was an auto load trailer but that does make sense why we've got different ones now there we go that's 16 on Auto load. There we go. I'm glad I tested that out. So I never would have realised. So transport position. There. So unload. How do we unload? Just unload bales here. Unload bales. It's not giving me an option to show where they're going to go. Can't move them like the normal ones. Say normal ones. So let's do unload bales here and see where they go. Oh, onto the trailer. Great. Great position. Let's try that again. Unload bales. That's very odd. <laughs> it says unload bales, but it's not giving an option to choose where to unload them to. How odd. Now they're all moving about. Let's reload them. Well, that's unusual. So, let's pull up and stop. It just says unload bales here. It won't I wonder why that is. So you can auto load them, but you can't auto unload them. Unless I'm missing something crucial here. Anyway, well, unload here. No, just unloads them back onto the trailer. Well, there you go. Not quite sure about that one. <coughs> if you unload them onto the trailer, they're already on there, but if you unload them, then you can fasten the tension belts um, for transport, which means they won't go all over the place. Other than that, not sure. You'd have to... So you can automatically take them off of a field, but then you've got to manually unload them. But anyway, um, that's it from the mods that have arrived so far. I don't know if any more mods are going to come out today. I'm recording this about five to three, UK time uh, mods don't usually get released at about half past three onwards so potentially there could be some more mods coming out later on but these are the three we've got so far the machine hall the multi-tool and the Adiranti pack all very very good mods have their pros have their cons um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share this video and of course, please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.